I don't have my Bluetooth on. And I do, so let me take that off. Okay, we are live with KDOT here. What's up, everybody? Um, we're about ready. Hope, oh, you, you know what, he might, yeah, I bet you if we don't get in there soon, he's gonna be at a lunch meeting or or some type of meeting. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, nobody's in here just yet, but did you get the noti notice? Yeah, okay, good. 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 Sometimes people get the notification, sometimes they don't. don't. We'll give it a few minutes. We'll wait for a few people to get in here. What we're doing today is, uh, what's up, John Denicola, Michelle, welcome. We are searching for Sergeant Douglas. We sure um, we are. Uh, yesterday, let's get, let's get everybody updated uh, real quick. Yesterday, we went in to file a complaint uh, because <coughs> the lovely November was given a hard time. Mm -hmm. And she brought that up to KDOT's uh, attention. So, of course, we've dealt with this guy before. We know what he's all about. He's, yep. he's just obstinate. What's up, Russell? Um, he's, he's an ass, basically. And um, what's up, Dragonette? Nice to have you in here. Dragonette, what's um, up? We are, we're back here at Aurora. Uh, Keeper's not here. What's up, Keeper? Um, we are, uh, this is part two. Yesterday he was in an all apparently an all day. You know it's funny, K dot. All these all these officers get get these these um, meetings that end up lasting lasting all day long. Mm -hmm. um, so I've never heard of a meeting, no matter where I worked, where the meeting was all day long, ever. You know, I've, I mean, I know certain companies have retreats where you're gone for a couple <laughs> of days, stuff like that. But a regular job. I've never heard of anybody getting um, an all-day meeting. Right. How does that work? Transparency time, welcome. Nice to have you in here. Yeah. Um, this is part two, and uh, I have a feeling going to be fireworks today. Um, and for all those that are sensitive-eared, you can rest assured that there's going to be there's going to be some words today. Um, we are here also. After I, we're doing Douglas first, right? Yeah, we're gonna do Douglas. And then we're gonna put in a, another records request. Hopefully, we get that back. I I don't have much uh, much faith in it, but um, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, we, we won't tell you who the officer is right now. Yeah, not right uh, now, but uh, uh, we'll we'll. we'll uh, it's gonna be fun. We'll, we'll let um, you know when we get the information. I gamble. I don't. I don't have a gambling thing on this uh, this uh, live keeper. I don't know how they set all that stuff up. I'm not super tech savvy with it but um uh nothing like getting the runaround from our government oh we've had trust me if any if there's any two individuals that have had the runaround mm -hmm. with the government it's this guy and this guy yeah. <laughs> we we uh we're going around in circles but that's okay we know how to play the game we'll we'll, we'll keep playing it up to and including taking shit to court if we need to so yeah. uh we hope that it doesn't get to that point i still yeah. got to send the chief some information that he's interested in the legal department here is what's holding up some of our requests and um i can't wait to get to, oh i already have um i did get their salaries and they make you know like base salary one hundred and seventy thousand a year just to pretty much tell people unlawful shit so yeah hit that like button if you haven't already you, you ready to go okay Huh? Are you ready to go? Unindoctrinated, we welcome. We got 14 people in here. Hit the like up button, people. Yeah. Like this one's going to be good. Sure. Now, I will I will warn you guys when we get in there, it's going to be spotty, but stay in the chat, and I will get to a position where, where um, we're able to uh, get get a signal in there. KDOT's going to go static because his... Uh, are you, you're going static, right? Or are you going live? I'm going static. Okay, static because inside it's real spotty with signal. Um, but mine tends to do a little bit better than KDOT's when it's in there. Mm -hmm. I won't mention that mine's an iPhone and his is an Android. <laughs> but, you know, hey, Karen M., welcome. Nice to have you in here. Uh, but we're going in there right now. Um, uh, like I said, the, the, the signal might be spotty. Stay in the chat. We, I, I promise you guys I will get to a position where um, you will be able to um, um, see and hear what's going on. Um, because I know there's certain spots that I can be, certain spots that I can't. Mini Apple, welcome. Nice to see you in there. Haven't seen you in a bit. Okay, here we go, guys. We're gonna we're gonna go do this thing. Hit that like button if you haven't already. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's hit it. We are, like I said, at the Aurora main headquarters. So here we go. I mean, 
<laughs> you can expect um, a little something something here if he's here see that's the thing yeah. if he's not here then I mean well maybe we can talk to another supervisor but maybe his supervisor. maybe his supervisor he seems to think he's the big kahuna here um, he has a big ass head but, uh, he does have a big egg head <laughs> is what he's got um, that's where we're going right there So like I said, guys, stay in the chat. If it buffers, I will get the signal back. I, I kind of know inside where to stand, where, where uh, you know, it, it doesn't cause us any issues or anything of that nature. But uh, just hang in here because this one might be pretty good. You guys might be interested in what uh, what KDOT's about ready to unleash, unleash on uh, on Sergeant uh, Cover-Up Douglas. That's, that's his nickname, guys, Cover-Up Douglas. And, and by the way... Kata and I are going to have a panel on him. Uh, I know we had a mini panel about him, but we've, through our, uh, through investigate, well, not an investigation, but through our fine tooth combing of his personnel files, we've got lots to talk about, up to and including the cover up, why he got the nickname cover up, and also a lot of nefarious things going on with the evaluations for this police department up to and including copying and pasting yep. um you know so so they don't they don't do real evaluations here and i think that's why they wanted every other redacted anytime i've asked for personnel files they've been redacted um the entire file and i talked to the chief about that which reminds me i have to send him those files um, so he can take a look and try to understand why because I would think that if you get an, ex an exceptional um, uh, review you want to show that to everybody look how great this guy is but I think I know the reasons why and we'll go over that on a panel when we have time to sit down and and talk to you all about it but uh, here we go like I said stay in the chat guys uh, if I missed anybody in the chat, uh, hopefully the mods gave you a warm welcome. Uh, if not, welcome to the MLH channel. This is going to be pretty good, I can almost assure you, if Sergeant Douglas is here. But let's see. Let's see. Maybe he took an early lunch because he knew we were coming. <laughs> All right, like I said, guys, I'll, I'll get you guys back up here in just a second. Oh, there's... Mr. Disrespectful. Let's see if he treats us better today. Is that him? No, it's somebody different. Yeah. All right, hang tight, guys. Let me know if the signal is okay. Um, actually, no, there's, that guy isn't here today. So, let's see. Kip, welcome. How's the signal, guys? Lisa, welcome. Bernie, welcome. Do you know where he's at? Do you know where he's at? Can we find that out? Can we find that out? Yes. Yeah. So let's see if we can get somebody to find that out. I'm sorry, I can barely hear you. Can you scoot over just a bit? No, I'm just, I'm sorry. I said let's get somebody to see if we can find that out as far as where his, his whereabouts is. I, I don't if you can get this to somebody that, that can get to somebody, call around uh, as far as seeing where he's at. So apparently, uh, Sergeant Douglas isn't here. Let's see if he's at his desk. <laughs> okay, so he's not at his desk. He's not here again. This is the second day in a row. We were told he was going to be here today. So he obviously must uh, watch my stream. Because, uh, again, he's unavailable. I kind of had a feeling this would happen. I had a feeling. I had a feeling, KDOT. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to talk to us. Oh, yeah. He, he, he's spooked. <laughs> he, he's spooked like a motherfucker. He's spooked. He's like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Just want to say hi. Okay. I'm sorry. It's it's uh it's chilly, it's a little nippy, but it's starting to. Hey, K Dot. K 
Kata, Ellie says look under his desk. He might huh? be there. Huh? Look under his desk. He might be there. Ellie, welcome. Uh, Sergeant Douglas's supervisor, uh, if possible, because I need to speak to him because he, every time we've, we've had an encounter, well, every time that we've had, had an encounter, we've just been incredibly rude. These ladies here, wonderful. Yeah. And he raised uh, Like yes. I said. <laughs> just letting you know. Yeah. Um, now, we did have a young gentleman up here yesterday. I had to get on his ass. Uh, for his oh, we'll get to him, transparency. Don't I worry. I was trying to see where Sergeant Douglas was, was at, and he didn't want to get off his lazy ass and um, do what he needed to do and, and, and get that information, just like she just did just now. Okay. Um, so you might need to have a talk with him. Sure. Uh, I don't know. What, what was his name? His technician uh, Mercado. Technician Mercado? Okay, cool. So you need to have a talk with him okay. about his, his manner. I don't know if he's new or whatever or anything like that, but... Uh, that's what I'll let you handle that. That particular. But um, yeah, if we can get his uh, Sergeant Douglas's uh, lieutenant. So the lieutenant's out of the office, okay. so I can get you his card. Um, he's out actually. He'll be back next week, so we, he won't be back until Monday. Is he on vacation or what? Okay, can I get that? Yeah, let me go to his that? office and buy it. Okay, I I'll appreciate it. Thank you. I'm sorry, ma'am. What was your name? Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, ma'am. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right, so we're getting the lieutenant's information. He's also he's also in a perpetual meeting, I bet. Uh, he's out of town. Oh, he's out of town. He's, he's on vacation. Back until Monday. Yeah. Um, it's always convenient. Always. <laughs> They're never there, hardly. And yet they get paid one hundred and fifty thousand a year to to do whatever. Yeah. Meanwhile, these ladies work hard, and they get less so. than less than about a quarter of what those those guys get. Yeah. <clears throat> these guys, these guys should be paid way more than than. Oh, absolutely, than, they're awesome. Yeah. Uh, except, except jackass. Oh yeah, except except idiot that was being obstinate yesterday. Yeah. But these la these ladies here work really hard. Th this lady in particular is always nice, always does the right yeah, thing. She just she just started not too long ago. Yeah, and and they're all She's nice. Awesome. They're all great. Everybody's yeah, good. everybody's good. Everybody's great. Um, but we, whenever you deal with the police themselves, that's when the problem starts. So. People wonder why there's a disconnect between police and, and the public. Well, here it is. This is it. This is what we're talking about right here. <clears throat> yeah, so. Now, these ladies are always great, and they should be paid way more. They should take salary away from the jackasses like Douglas and then you know put it into their salaries I because, I mean, seriously. And then the $8,000 that they got, that should go to these people because they deserve it. Mm -hmm. They actually do, do work. They're public-facing. They understand it. They've always been very helpful. They're upfront, honest. Uh, but then, but then you get to that next layer where Douglas is here, Sergeant Douglas, who makes I think his base salary was a hundred and one hundred forty. Was it one hundred forty? I thought it was like one hundred forty-seven. One hundred forty-one. That's his base salary plus the overtime he picks up and 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 everything else that he does. So, oh yeah, you can go right ahead, man. So, let me just sit here. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so we just, you know, we have to make sure that we have to stay on them. On, on, uh, look, I want to come here on uh, civility, and that's how I start out. But that's see, I think you're so misunderstood, K. Dot, because you're always civil at first. Yeah. You know, always. It's like me. Like when I go out there, I don't, I don't just automatically jump into your your piece of shit and all this. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, let's get to business. And then if you start acting up, then, you know, the, I'm, or unless we know the particular person, like, like this yeah. Douglas guy doesn't deserve anything because he's always been rude from yeah. day one, yeah. from the first second. But, but people have this weird perception of you that, that you just automatically go into like fifth gear. And that's, that simply just isn't true. I've, I've been around KDOT long enough to know that he's always, oh, here you go, KDOT. Oh, sorry. All right. Okay. 
Ghost Eagle, welcome. Mick T, welcome. I'm sorry. Anybody I missed, uh, you're yeah, welcome to the chat. Okay. Um, so he's not actually going to be in the office until Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, and this is in direct. Sorry. Or, Lieutenant. Sorry. Okay. Um, the chief also said you'd either contact Sergeant Douglas by phone or email or contact the chief directly. Oh, well, I, trust me, I got, yeah, so I got his. I just yeah. got, got done out of a meeting with the chief last week, last, what was that, last Friday? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, we know, we, we have, we know the chief very, very, very well. Sure. Uh, um, I, I don't have a, uh, uh, ID number on this one, if we can get that. Or, so who do we talk to then if we need to, to get information so about he, he gets back here Tuesday. Well, ask them who we talk to to figure out if, if somebody has a warrant on, on them or not. Who would we talk to? If, if everybody's out, who would we, you know? Excuse me, ma'am. I did have a question. That's right. I forgot to ask you this. Okay, so if somebody has a... Uh, uh, a warrant uh, out of somewhere. How, how do we go about checking? Is there a database? I know that Denver has a, a link to where you can see uh, if a person has a warrant, type your name in and it'll see if it has a warrant or whatever. Do you guys have that database here? Or how's that yeah. Yeah, how's that working on warrant? Basically, that person that thinks they have their warrant, they have to bring their ID and they can run it and see if they have a warrant. Okay. So on, on the ID situation, because I think that's what, where the, the, the issue had yesterday. She tried to, uh, she showed them their ID, gave them the person last name, and he wouldn't, uh, she didn't, she doesn't by law have to give the ID uh, to them. Um, I know that, I know the CRS for that. Um, but she did, present it, and if he wants to write the information down, he's more than welcome to. And, and so, because he Yeah, they won't share it on you, I think uh, they have a link. physically handling the ID, and she was just like, well, I refuse, I, I, I refuse to help you. And that's just not okay. That's just not okay. So, because um, she was on, uh, she was here on behalf of her, uh, her, her son because there was a, a, there was an altercation at school or work, something had happened. Um, I'm not gonna really get into that. But um, she wanted to, to verify if they had her or something like that, they children. So, uh, so just because she didn't give the ID to him, he said, I'm not gonna help you. So what is that process? What is, So she, even with, even if it just even states in the, the Colorado Revised Statute, like let's say if you're stopped or whatever by a police officer, um, or let's just say a traffic stop, right? Um, you don't have to. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just giving you an example. Um, as far as I, how IDs, even when it comes to police, um, you don't have to physically hand your ID to them. You have to present it. So you can present it in the window, and they have to, their, uh, it's their due diligence to write it. That's why they have the notepad, or that's why they have their body on camera to get that information off of there. Um, whether it be your insurance or your, your, your registration. So that was somewhat done yesterday. And like I said, Sergeant uh, Douglas didn't want to help her after that. I'm gonna explain why we're here in a bit, guys. I mean, he's always, he's never, Never like you ladies. You guys are always brilliant, just nice people. But he just he has an attitude. And I already talked to the chief about his his behavior already. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to mitigate this as, as much as possible because I don't want he's the, he. You guys are the face of the 
Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And, and including him as far as leadership. And so it's imperative that um, he's setting a good, uh, is also setting a, a good example for you guys as well. Would you agree? Because that you're the supervisor, you set a, a good example for them. Correct. Well, how, how you can't correct them if, you know, if, if you're setting a bad example. Um, so that's that. That's the issue that I have with him. Um, there's specific reasons why we don't do ride-alongs. I'll talk to you guys about that. And then. Yeah, I got. Um, I probably got a my complaint tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, and, and, and giving that to you guys. Okay. On that. Um, but yeah, I got. Uh, on that, that particular point. So, did, is there a follow up on every single complaint? With the supervisor side. Okay. All right. So, I, I expect to do that, and you guys have been wonderful. Um, but, one more question. So, can you present your ID, or does he have to grab it? What is, what is the follow up? So, I need to have something to look at when I go to my computer and type this information in, right? I don't have numbers in there. Yeah, but you can write it down. Okay. But could, couldn't he have just written it down on a notepad? You have a pen, get a paper, I'll write your name, your it's person. It's honestly easier than just to have the ID. Oh my so God, okay. we're going to run so into I this. So I get it's an inconvenience. And I'm not saying it's inconvenient. I'm just saying it, for us to actually have a physical ID. PTP, welcome. And, and if she wasn't willing to do that, then that's probably not going to be that. But I don't think it was his right not to well, serve her. I wasn't her. here for the complaint, so I can't think I, what he did. I, I hear that, but what I'm saying as far as... As, as far as just the staff in general, as far as he could have just did that, that got the information, and and uh, and she was willing. Like I said, her info, I mean, just read read the information, her ID number, whatever address or whatever that's on there, and he would have did a due diligence. But I just I do believe that was wrong for her not. I don't think that is professional for him not to just okay. Well, I'm done. Don't want to help. Me. You know what I'm saying? Because if that's the case, if somebody was coming up here to report a crime, Kelly, he's in Colorado Springs. They didn't want to do the, their ID. They presented an hour and a half, ID, hour and fifteen minutes whatever, away. But not the way that he wanted it, as far as them physically having it. Then I think it's still wrong for them to say, "I'm not going to serve you because I don't have your full ID." So I, I for him, I'm not speaking. I'm not, I'm not asking you to speak for him. Sure. But I'm, I'm, I'm sure he probably would have handled it a little differently. Instead of just dismiss her and be like, okay, I'm not going to help. Okay. So. Great. And I, I wasn't here for the whole conversation, so again, I can't speak for what I could and what I wouldn't do. I don't know the circumstances. So I can't say I would or I wouldn't ask for an ID or write it down. I can't say that because I work in this situation. Well, it's I'm not saying, that hard. As far as your protocol, would that be? We ask for physical IDs. Correct. Right. So what I'm saying is we ask for physical ID, Correct. right? So what I'm saying is that by law, do you have to take it? By law, no, I don't no. have to take it. So no, I'm asking you, you're up here for service, so I'm asking you for an ID so I can verify the law. Right, and I'm presenting it. Okay. Right? Yeah. You can write it down, right? Yeah. So, what I'm saying in that particular procedure is that is, does she have to physically give the ID to him? If we can verify it, no, it doesn't need to be physically handed over. Okay. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I appreciate that. And um, you guys have a, a wonderful day. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, so I did hear what she said. You don't have to physically present it. And that's exactly what we need. Hey, let's get out here and let's talk about this for real quick and, and give you guys a real reason why we're here. Obviously, Sergeant Doug is Douglas, the cover up coward, that's his new nickname, cover up coward isn't here again. This is day two of us trying to get a hold of Douglas and, and give him a piece of our mind. But we were here. I don't know if you got what she has. I did. I okay. got as much as I could because if I go any closer, then, then we we tend um, to get. Um, so okay. let me get you out of the sun, bro. Oh, okay. Let's, yeah. <laughs> I want you like. Uh, okay. okay. So the reason that we're here is because it, it's an ID issue. And the lady that we're talking about, her name is November. Um, there, uh, it, she wanted to find out if, if one or both of her kids had a warrant because she was threatened with the warrant. That's as much as I'm 
uh, information as I want to give you guys right now because right. it involves kids. <laughs> but um, when she went down to the station, because they don't have a link, and if they do, Ellie, Ellie's absolutely right. They don't want to give it to us. You know, it's some type of secret. So she went down here and Sergeant Douglas wanted her ID. So she presented her ID plus her first and last name up to the window and he refused to serve her because he, she wouldn't physically give him the ID. So that's, that's what Kate specifically was asking right here. Do you physically have to give your ID? Because we both know that the CRS, that the statutes here in Colorado um, provide that you don't have to physically give your ID to an officer for any reason. There's no reason that, that he physically has to have that ID. He can write it down on a notepad. Um, he can take a picture, he can uh, look at his body cam, whatever the case is, you don't have to physically give them because that would, that would um, uh, uh, be a Fourth Amendment violation if, if, if you, unless you willingly gave it to them. I know a lot of people do when they have traffic stops. Now, if he takes a picture, make sure you for request that. Yeah, you, you for, for your request. To make sure he doesn't do anything with, or if, 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 if you're identifying, identification is floating around you at least have that dating that well he's the last person who took my um the picture of my id right you know right um, so so the reason i mean it, it seems like such a petty thing right you're not going to hand over your id but it, in, in essence it could turn into a big thing because what if you have something in in your file or your records that they keep your ID, that they hold your ID, they can hold your ID hostage for however long they want at that mm -hmm. point. You have no control over it. No. So that's why you're saying, we're saying, it, it, it seems like a minor issue, but in reality, it's actually a bigger issue than, than what it seems because it goes into the Fourth Amendment and a bunch of other, um, you know, legal, civil um, type of uh, legalities yep. that, that, that could present a big problem for you. So the, the, the point is, is to make sure that Sergeant Douglas knows that she, he does not physically need that ID because a person like him who oversees a lot of records and has covered up for himself mm -hmm. in his own evaluations could do a lot of nefarious things up to and including forwarding your information, you know, to someone else and then on to someone else. Like what happened to me. I've never been arrested. I don't have a criminal record. Um, I, I, I think my last ticket was like five years ago or something. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't have, I mean, there's no reason for them to know who I am at all, but yet I, I've been doxxed on my own live streams because they tend to follow you around, yep. get your license plate, run your license plate, find out who the owner is. Then they find out your information and then, you know, your information's out Even in the, the ether. That that By the way, the chief was upset. Yeah. Well, I was just about ready to say the chief of police was actually kind of upset about that. You know, he kind of bristled when I told him that exact scenario, mm -hmm. that I have no record, and, you know, it, it ended up being kind of a, a big thing with him. The chief is actually not a bad dude. No, he's not. Um, we, we met with the chief for an hour and a half, and uh, he had a lot of interesting things to say. Let's just put it that way. I yeah. can't divulge a lot of what we talked about we because it's... We had a great conversation. We did have a good conversation, uh, so... He understood where we were coming from. Uh, yeah. And I put that in my comments as well uh, on the video that I... Uh, the, the press conference that I shared with you guys uh, on, on the chief and uh, I, again he acknowledged uh, there are some things he could have done differently right um, and I and I will just keep it there but um, uh, also uh, sergeant Douglas if somebody could put this in the chat uh, his ID number is two five six four three uh, this is uh, it, can you get that? Is that good? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's his that's his phone number. Uh, that's his email address. Uh, this is his lieutenant, Lieutenant Brett Parvin. That's his number, and that's his email address. Yep, got that. Okay. Okay. So if somebody can put that, uh, Ahmad, if you if you guys can put that in the chat, that'd be great. Just so we can have that. Uh, as a receipt so um, yeah so his badge number again is two five six four three again two five six four three yeah Ellie's on it she's got it in there and his Thank evaluations you. are a joke um, Ellie you're gonna have to join KDOT and I in a panel real soon because I'm not making any headway on on further evaluations but we gleaned a lot mm -hmm. 
Well, I should say Ellie gleaned a lot <laughs> from from the um, evaluation of Sergeant Douglas, at, which we will go over yep. at a later date with all of you, because we did a panel on on that specific thing, K. Dot. Yeah. But we we missed a lot. Yeah. And it's For important sure. to go through over over that um, uh, and 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 make sure people understand exactly who Sergeant Douglas is. What exa why we're so upset with him to begin with. And all this started because KDOT felt that he was being disrespectful to me. Yep. And when I looked at the video, I couldn't agree with you more, KDOT. Like, it, in the moment, I, I didn't understand what was going on because I was... You put upload that video. I, I did. I, I think I did. I didn't see it. You didn't see it? I didn't see it. I think it was alive. What? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't chop it up. Okay. I think it was alive. Okay. But yeah, it, it, so um, it all stemmed from him being disrespectful and yep. then me deciding... That, well, if he can be that disrespectful to a member of the public, what's in his files? And I got his files, and boy, did we ever get a treasure trove of information from that. Um, and it is a treasure trove, and we'll go over it with you guys. I've already uh, posted some of it, um, but we'll do another live uh, panel with uh, Ellie, KDOT, and myself, and we will um, uh, go over why the evaluation process here at Aurora is probably why they don't want us to see the, 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 the full evaluations because they started redacting. Right after that, they said it was a mistake that we got those personnel files, which I don't know why it would be a mistake. He, got, he had an excellent evaluation. If you, if you look at his evaluation, it said exceptional. And also Sergeant Cooks said the same thing, exceptional. Why do you not want to show that and prove to everybody what great cops you got uh, going? Uh, I think we know on, in the case of Sergeant Douglas why he's not an exceptional. He, he might be exceptional at being a piece of shit um, and, and not worthy of the badge that's on his, his uh, chest. But, um, oh, he's, he, he comes across as very, very benign, very, but he's a slimy POS, and I'm telling you guys that. Sounds bitter. You yes. Know, I mean, I guess I could see where you come. I, you know, you don't. You're not on the street anymore, so. Right. You're, you're behind a desk, not really doing shit. Right. I mean, who 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 signs up to be a cop to be behind the desk, right? <laughs> and so usually, again, guys, and I had stated it before. Um, usually, people behind the desk or police officers behind the desk uh, usually did something wrong. Is it blurry? Let's go over here. Is it? Is it? Let's let's go down the row a little bit. Is okay. it? Is it better here? That better, guys? That might be a little bit better. Okay. Um, Ellie says it depends on what part of the evaluation um, <laughs> you look at. That's right, Ellie. That's exactly right. Yep. Because if I you, agree, Ellie. I, I mean, how else would we call him? Why would we call him Cover Up Douglas? <laughs> Unless we had a reason to call him Cover Up Douglas, exactly. K-Dot. Like, we don't, like, I think it was Kelly C. I think you're still in, in chat, Kelly. Um, it seems like sometimes we're a little gruff with people or or, you know, but there's there's reasons behind it. It's not it's not just we go in there and we just start blasting people. Mm -hmm. It's it's we already know the histories. Mm -hmm. We already have been treated bad by these people in one way or another. That's why I'm saying, like not only energy too. Yeah, we're energy people. Like we right. we can tell if you're. Sometimes you can't get that off of camera. Right. You just sometimes you just can't um, because you might just be hey how you doing? Uh, you might just be uh, getting just their face but we're looking at body language oh, i'm trained on all that you know what i'm saying i can i can tell if you're if you're real or fake i'm, I'm really a good right uh, are we are well. we a little bit better here guys is uh, is the signal better i need to know because okay um i'm gonna go over here while kdot takes a, a private combo but uh but we're gonna go uh into the city clerks i don't know i'll ask kdot if we want to no, stay it's live all good. We, um uh, we, we got you here. but uh I mean, it's not it's not us just just wanting to cause problems, you know. I've uh, been able to call dispatch and just info. Yeah, uh, that's a di there's a different. Uh, okay, Kelly, let me let me get it get it really really straight so you uh, you understand where we're coming from. When we when I call when I call, I'm usually very very cordial, and at at you know, because a lot of times when you don't see a person face to face, you can get things done a lot quicker by being, being a little more, I guess, benign, a little more cordial, 